that was you, my nigga, that put your trust in a nothing-ass bitch. And like my nigga on the More Sense podcast, go subscribe to that motherfucking channel. You don't know who the fuck is who. There's no motherfucking way that you can tell whether somebody is a good person or a scumbag. Within the first two months of fucking knowing them. You can make a bitch mad within the first month. And then after that, the whole next month, she's planning on ways to fuck you over. You don't understand, but the relationship been over for a whole 30 days. This last 30 days, she just been building her fucking case up. But this is you though, dog. This is you. You really believe that that hoe that's sitting next to you right now is on your fucking side. As if she don't turn into a whole nother motherfucker as soon as she get mad. Podcast. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, and this is as in who do I talk. I, I, you know, usually I say like, "Go that black." Are you serious, Chief Keith? Are you serious, uh, Police? Are you serious? But in this situation, I don't know who to talk to. Uh, judicial system? I can't never say that word right. Um, who do I talk to? What what has just taken place is... For lack of better words, they have just given get money bitches a new way to get money. This is... The paradise that Amber Rose, Black China, and the Elk like them have been waiting for. This is the day. This is the day. The day when no physical, or for that matter, no fucking evidence is needed. The day when a nothing-ass bitch, when a nothing-ass bitch's word is as validated, as uh, respected, as feared as a police officer's. Hey, yo, Nation, look. The second stop in the Big Face Podcast Alabama tour is going to be Tuskegee, Alabama. On October 6th, I will be on Highway 29 at Macon Motel. From Twitter, I'm going to be out there holding the giveaways. This is really making it understood that I'm not the internet niggas. Um, I really talk minds outside. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get your uniform before the date, you already know where to go. Hit the link. Your shirt's going for 20, your snapback's going for 25. Um, also, remember that if you want to donate and shit like that, it's a whole different PayPal, but that PayPal is always in the description box. You know what I'm saying? Um, all my rap niggas, I told y'all at the end of September, I'm going to open the gates back up and we're going to start promoting again. You have to have at least a $200 budget. Prices start at $200. If you do not have $200, do not contact me. If you hit me up, Talking that business shit and that fucking talk don't end no more fucking transaction, my nigga, you blocked. Period. If you don't have two hundred dollars, this goes for business owners. If you have a product that you want me to promote on the show, you're fucking me up. <laughs> and you don't got two hundred dollars, man. Don't fuck up our relationship like that, cause I'm gonna block you. You know what I'm saying? Two hundred dollars, just like that. Just simple. Um, go watch if you have not uh subscribe go subscribe to the more sense podcast um big home is on there talking some shit that niggas need to understand uh he said that a prostitute's word is now upheld as if it was a fucking officer of the law that just spoke these words. This is a good day for get money bitches. Get money bitches can now. Let's say for an example. You you get a stripper hoe. Um, who want to take her, her talents on the road. She want to take the show on the road. Whatever like that. Let's say she down here in Alabama. And she see like I. Right, so you know what I'm saying. I ain't got no car. My license is suspended and shit like that. These niggas down this bitch. Don't want to give me nothing. But goddamn $40 a fuck. 
twenty dollars for some head. Um, I'm making pennies when I'm dancing for niggas. I'm dancing twenty songs through the night and barely getting one hundred twenty dollars, whatever like that. And that's after I pay my motherfucking rent in this motherfucker rent inside of the strip club and shit like that. She stand with her mama and shit like that. Just a nothing ass bitch. Just an everyday nothing ass bitch. And what happens is now what she can do in her mind, she can calculate how much it is she's gonna need to get her car, get her license reinstated, get a registration, uh, tag, insurance, all that shit. So she knows she needs a down payment. You know what I'm saying? Let's say two thousand dollars for the down payment. Her credit, she had nothing ass bitch, so her credit probably, she probably fucked up all the cars she had, so her credit probably fucked up. So now she needs a $4,000 down payment, probably $3,000, they will take $3,000. So $3,000 and $500 to get the license reinstated, tag. So let's say she gonna need a total of five racks. And then, moving on the road, you, you know what I'm saying, you wanna have some money to get started. So six racks can get her what she need to be. Um, she can take care of the payments after she gets the car because she's going to uh, Tennessee, she's going to Georgia, she's going to Florida, she's going to Mississippi. And with the strip club hustle, the nothing ass bitch hustle, um, it's all about something new to a nigga eyes. Uh, the, the people that uh, reside in uh, frequent strip clubs are the real trap niggas. And trap niggas can't leave. Um... They're trapped, so they can only they can probably visit over here, visit over there, but they can't actually just really go there and know what I'm saying fuck off like that. And niggas have a wandering eye, and these trapped niggas, um, they gonna have to wait years for the little holes that they scoping out, the little 13, 14 year old holes that they scoping out. They gonna have to wait years until that hole turn 15 to where they can start fucking them. You know what I'm saying? They tired of just getting hair from the 13 year old. You know what I'm saying? They want a goddamn start fucking. You know what I'm saying? They they looking at the hoe. You know what I'm saying? She 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 straight. She 13. They can tell she's gonna be fine. Whatever like they can tell she's gonna be thick. They see her mama ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be easy for them to buy that child. Whatever like that. But while they're waiting on their prepubescent um uh, uh side bitch to come of age, um uh, what they what they what they do is frequent the strip club. And their strip club, let's say Mississippi or something like that, you got the same hoes coming in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? The same, you know what I'm whatever nigga this, you know, whatever. Got a little bullshit nigga, pop kill, nigga high, whatever like that, fuck, get some, you know what I'm saying, here in the club, whatever the fuck like that. But when a new bitch come through there, just the fact that it's a new bitch, nigga gonna be on that. And a hoe understands that. A hoe understands, um, this is a bitch, now we gotta understand. I, a hoe understands that I can get more money on the road than I can right here because the same hoes that down there where that trap nigga at, whatever like that, then already got all she can get out that club. She trying to hit the road too. This is every whole dream right here. Now, fuck a, a, a federal grant. Fuck filling out the paperwork online. You know what I'm saying? Fuck having to pick up another job to where you might have to get up. In the morning and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck having to work out. Matter of fact, while I'm at it, I might as well goddamn go and put this surgery I'm trying to get on the motherfucking bill too. So the surgery, I think that shit costs like, you can go to the the, the, shade, the shade tree doctor and get the surgery done for like, um, $2,500, I think. To actually go to the doctor to get it done the right way, I think it's fire racks. I'm not sure, whatever like that. So, fuck it, slap that on top of that. So now what you're going to need is, uh, we had 11 Eleven thousand. We have eleven thousand right now. That what you need to really get money. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're gonna get a new body, new car. You hitting the road. You finna kill it, and you gonna you gonna run the chitlin circuit. You know what I'm saying? Down south, whatever like that, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas getting money. Niggas getting money down this bitch, and they ain't really got nowhere to spend it at because ain't shit going on in they city like that. So it's a good plan. You know what I'm saying? This is the day that nothing ass bitches have been waiting on. That's the situation now we get to the relief we get to the new federal grant the new nothing ass bitch grant from the government what the government is now saying is pick you a nigga that has that you know first off make sure make sure that 
the nigga has the money that you're going to be asking for on hand. Secondly, make sure that this nigga is going to pay you and not kill you. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself in a way that if so, if he does try to bring harm to you, make sure that he knows that the police know that he is going to be arrested for because you, you, you know what's going on. Or fuck it, just file the charges. File the charges and then tell him if he doesn't want you to, this is the best way to do it. File the charges and then tell him if he doesn't want you to come to court. If, if he wants you to recant your statement, then he needs to give you $11,000. First off, what you need to do is make sure he has it. Um, you can actually do it something like how a lawyer does it. Uh, you, you take payments. You know what I'm saying? You take payments. So he brings $2,000, $2,000, $2,000 you get your money and shit like that. Um, through this whole situation, this is like any bribery situation, any blackmailing situation. You want to make sure that he understands that the pressure is on and you're not bullshit. But at the end of the day... What the judicial system has done for you is they've taken out the part to where you have to convince him that he will go to jail and be fully prosecuted. With this Bill Cosby case, what they've shown is that for a black man to get in any fucking trouble, a nothing ass bitch's word will be taken as if a fucking judge made that fucking statement. A nothing ass bitch's word is that fucking good. This is the day that nothing ass bitches have been preparing for. They've been knowing that the floodgates, that it's been hard out here, hoes been happening, like I said, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with a little bit of nothing, can't really take no bath like they want to, they selling the same nothing ass, stank ass cat, you know what I'm saying? They trying to, you know what I'm saying? Hoes want to live. Hoes is living on their phone, they seeing hoes clean, and you know what I'm saying? It's really... They read it. They they've been waiting on the day they can get their surgery. All these nothing ass bitches, bad build ass bitches. They've been waiting to cut that shit up off of them. You gotta understand a nothing ass bitch mindset. A nothing ass bitch, instead of waiting for her to get that surgery, to seem like it will be proactive of her to I instead of me waiting on uh, getting enough money to get this surgery, why don't I work out? Fuck that. Know what I'm saying? A nothing ass bitch mindset is. Fuck that shit. I'm going to go get this shit cut off. But somebody needs to pay for this shit. Because the world owes me something. And that's her mindset. So, of course, we get to the part where... Now, how do you bring the news? How do you bring this information to a nigga? And how do you pick out the right nigga? You know what I'm saying? How do you make sure that this nigga has at least 10000 Because you want 11000 But, of course, you got you gave yourself some wiggle room. And shit like that. And plus you're going to be getting money on the road. So if he comes with $10,000, you will take that. But you got to make sure that he has that. And the way you can do that is peep. You know what I'm saying? Peep. Peep. They've made it so good for you, though, that all you have to do, as a nothing-ass bitch, all you have to do is speak to a man. You know what I'm saying? Approach a man. Just Make sure, though, that you don't waste your first chance. Because that's going to be your biggest check. Don't waste your first time on the, a motherfucker that's trying to look like he got money. You need to make sure that this motherfucker actually has money that he can pay you offhand. Make sure that he has the type of insides that will curl up. Make sure that he's someone that is up to date on things that are going on. You know what I'm saying? Because... But, like I said, the media and the government have made it so that everyone knows about this. This Bill Cosby case is everywhere and everyone has the same fucking understanding. Yes, it was um, uh, 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 the Quaaludes and all that bullshit like that. But what you know right now is if a bitch calls rape, physical evidence is not fucking needed. One bitch come forward, he raped me, it's on. It's on. It's on. Ain't no other, ain't nothing else going on. It's on. Me. Me, right now. If I go and tell this fucking dad the police a bitch raped me, they're going to tell me to fill out a report and all this shit like that, and we'll, we'll, we'll get back to you. A bitch 
But when say somebody raped me, they come out with cuffs and guns. Right then. Shout out to Katrina Gibbs. If you have not fucking subscribed to her channel, go the fuck over there, man. I'm telling y'all, she is on our side. Katrina Gibbs said she gave the definition of uh, sexual violence. Do you know that every one of those, the list of shit, the definitions have to deal with fucking penetration? It has to do with fucking penetration. Uh, unwanted penetration, nah, nah, penetration, nah, nah, penetration, nah, nah, unconscious penetration, all this fucking penetration. So hold on, my nigga. Let me talk. I just want to speak. Hold on. So you telling me that there is no definition of sexual violence that can be applied to a fucking man? How in the fuck can a woman, it, it, aside from the obvious dumbass shit that niggas can come up with, but how can a woman naturally, how can a fucking woman penetrate a fucking man? We understand why a nigga would rape a bitch because he's trying to bust a nut. I, this, this, the, the most primitive, basic thing. He want to bust a nut. That, that's fine. I guess we can't fathom why a bitch would, by their definition... Sexually assault or rape a fucking man. Because her putting her finger up his ass, that's not going to give her no motherfucking pleasure. But sexual violence is when you, it's not, not when a fucking woman does anything to a man. Because like I told y'all before. Let me back up off of that. It's when a fucking man does anything to a woman and this how this shit is set up. So back to my point. Back to my point before I get off before I get off task. This is the day that the nothing ass bitches have been waiting for. The government has finally made it where all you have to do as a nothing ass bitch is find you a victim and attack. And what you need to do, like I said on your first try, is make sure you find someone. That you know can give it to you offhand. Whether they got to go to the ATM or whatever the fuck like that. You know what I'm saying? You make sure that they understand that you're dead fucking serious. Maybe you need to bring... Because it, it's going to be a time in between where... Because what she can do is... this uh, Another thing is, bitch, what you do is... You go make your police report. Tell them... I, I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. I just feel like I'm just a violin. Oh, yeah. No. I don't know what's going on. Like Katrina Gibbs said, she said... Katrina Gibbs said that in Las Vegas, a dude was trying to fuck her, whatever like that. And she kept it so real with the nigga. She said... Because he kept asking her to go to the house with him. And she said, hey, my nigga, look here. Uh, so what if I go to the house, we fuck, whatever like that, in the morning after, I just feel violated and I tell the police that you raped me. All I got to do is run outside with a sheet on and or just fuck it, just call the police and sound fucking frantic. And it's over with for you. This retarded ass nigga, after her saying that, he said, you don't like the type to do that. You don't look like the type to do that. Even after I tell you what's going on, my nigga, you still trying to play? And see, that's what I'm trying to, that's, that's also what I'm saying. If you get caught, fucked up, after this right here, it's your own fucking fault. Because that was you. That was you, my nigga, that put your trust in a nothing ass bitch. And like my nigga on the More Sense podcast, go subscribe to that motherfucking channel. You don't know who the fuck is who. There's no motherfucking way that you can tell whether somebody is a good person or a scumbag within the first two months of fucking knowing them. You can make a bitch mad within the first month and then after that, the whole next month, she's planning on ways to fuck you over. You don't understand, but the relationship been over for a whole 30 days. This last 30 days, she just been building her fucking case up. But this is you, though, dog. 
This is you. You really believe that that hoe that's sitting next to you right now is on your fucking side. As if she don't turn into a whole nother motherfucker as soon as she get mad. As if a bitch don't regret what the fuck she does after she does it. And sometimes it's not immediately fucking after. Sometimes it's six years after. Sometimes you get the Emmett Till fucking treatment and it's with a bitch 91 years old. What's my nigga name that died? I ain't gonna go into that. I'm not gonna go into that. I'm not going into that. If you get fucked up on some rape shit past today, September 27 or whatever the fuck today is, 2018, it's your own motherfucking fault. At this point, if you don't live by the three S's, if any other fucking story comes out past this date, you on your motherfucking own. Because at this point, we understand that the government is not on our side. As men and as black men, you understand completely what's going on. A nothing ass bitch, just listen to what the fuck I'm telling you. This bitch can be oversized. Oversized, not supersized like at McDonald's and shit like that. I'm talking about oversized. You know what? You know at Five Guys, when, when you get like the fry, they, they pour another scoop of uh, fries in a bag. Oversized, dog. A bitch can be oversized and say a nigga rape her and they going on that. No physical evidence because it takes two years for a rape kit to come the fuck back. On a bitch's word alone, a nigga is bam, his whole life is over. Once you have been put into this motherfucking box, once that thought is in motherfuckers' mind, your life is over. Because now we gotta wait to find out if you guilty or innocent. And it don't work like that. It don't work like innocent till proven guilty. Bitch, you wanna fuck I'm in jail. Amber Rose came out. Amber Rose came out and said, uh, she hoped that, uh, Bill Cosby, uh, die in jail, get 10 years and die in jail. And, and this, and this, and this is how powerful this, this, this planet is turning into Amazon. We are now on an Amazonian planet at this point in time. We are now on an Amazonian planet where the females run it. Dog, listen to what the fuck I'm telling you, dog. If a bitch can goddamn call the police at any fucking point in time and put a fucking attack dog on you, she run the shit. If you cannot... Alright, so what? what is power? What is power? Um, You're stronger than a woman, but if she has a knife, she's strong... You understand what I'm saying? Um, a a the whole art of jujitsu is um, being able to be a small person, but being able to you know subdue a way a really big person, whatever like that. All right. So what is power? You know what I'm saying? What is power? I I I have the power to subdue you. I can do something to you. And you can't reciprocate what it is I, I, I do to you. She can call the fucking police and say, he raped me and they're on the way. You call the police, she raped me, and they're going to ask you questions, dog. They're going to ask you questions, dog. They're going to tell you to come down to the station and let's see what's going on with this. Them motherfuckers might charge you. They might, well, I'm talking about they might charge you money and they might charge you with filing a false police report. Dog, I didn't told y'all. By the real definition of sexual abuse and rape, dog, I, I, I swear to God, that shit didn't happen to me at least three times in my fucking life. In real life, my nigga. In real life.
a bitch, dog, real talk, as far as like grabbing your dick and inserting that shit. And I right, so see, this, this the thing, dog. Unwanted motherfucking uh advances. I don't want you to grab my dick, bitch. I don't want you to give me head, ho. But I can't just haul off and punch you. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? You can overpower a hoe. But I thought it was unwanted. Come on, dogs. The, the social standard, uh, 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 society pressures me as a man not to call the police on a hoe. Handle it yourself. But as soon as I handle it myself, if I push her hand off too, back, too fucking hard, this hoe can call the law and I catch the charge. This is an Amazonian prison. You have to fuck when they tell you to fuck. Or they might hit you with a rape charge. Amber Rose said, I, I, I hope he burn in hell and die. It's gotten so bad that now a white bitch, a white bitch can tell our elders, disrespect our elders, and nobody lifts a goddamn finger because she's powerful. We can say whatever we want about her, but ain't nobody gonna do shit. Ain't nobody gonna do shit to Amber Rose. That's a national treasure. Amber Rose, you touch that motherfucker you want to, you're going to be behind the motherfucking jail. You can talk as much shit as you want to about Amber Rose, but if a nigga talk shit about your motherfucking elder, you going off in his shit. But this white hoe can say whatever the fuck she want about your real elder, and you can't do nothing. Man, some fucked up, y'all nothing ass hoe. That's power.